very good morning and a warm welcome to each and everyone present here today to this ceremonial function of the 76th Republic Day. Our chief guest, the Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Sri Konrad K. Sangmar, has arrived. And I would like to request one and all to kindly rise from their respective seats. Antini Mungsun, Lupa Sokupa, Debya Puna Sokaha, Plakun, Haringa Mutmula. Our Chief Guest, the Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Sri Konrad K. Sangma, will now inspect the parade for the 75th Republic Day celebration. Antini Dalpat Kepa Sokkepa, Antini Adokni Chief Minister Pa Konrad K. Sangma, Dao Parade Kun Yangen.
children to come. The children can go out. Some somebody to tell the children to relax, otherwise, normally they will tell parents. Just the children. A very good morning to everyone. My dear citizens of Meghalaya, it gives me immense pleasure today to extend my heartfelt greetings to you on the momentous occasion of the 75th Republic Day. On this day, we affirm our commitment to the ideals enshrined in our Constitution and pay solemn tribute to leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. We also salute patriots from our own soil, U Tirat Singh, U Kyang Nangba, Pathogan N Sangma, and other unsung heroes. We respectfully remember the martyrs from the armed forces, paramilitary forces, and police forces who have laid down their lives in protecting the rule of law. During the last year, the overall law and order situation in the state was peaceful. We made significant progress in resolving the border dispute between Meghalaya and Assam following the historic signing of a Memorandum of Understanding in March 2022 for six areas of differences. The two, the two chief ministers met again in May 2023 to initiate the process of resolving the dispute in the remaining six areas of differences. My dear citizens, the government is committed to bring lasting peace to the state and once again reiterates that it is open to having talks with the HNLC within India's constitutional framework and as per the guidelines of the Union Ministry of Home Affairs. This is a special year as Meghalaya has adopted a state anthem after 52 long years of our statehood. This is also a historic year and a moment as on the 16th of February 2024, a life-size statue of Uturat Singh will be unveiled in Dhaka Bangladesh. A high-level delegation led by Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and comprising of other senior cabinet ministers, officials, traditional heads, academicians, artists, and other members of civil society will be representing Meghalaya in Dhaka on that momentous occasion. This is also a very, very memorable year as Meghalaya was honored to host the Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupati Murmuji, on a maiden visit to the state of Meghalaya.
Aoni Katsara, Reping Rang. Ia 75th Republic Deni Salo. Ang ating tamad sa iya chol ko rae na isimang sa kantinan ang ninamgapa sa kaniko o na kusiyok nga. Ang tamad sa iya sumay ni bako ang ano kapay sol ko ba matel na kusiyok nga may nansing na iya India at song ko araw ang sini constitution ko iya salo ang sing na no ka pa isol patiha. Pingram, yari ang pa bul si bunga bul si Dok ni Gisepo. Ya MDA government, ang sini Megala State ko develop ka na. Tungtang, tungtang, kamrang ko sing na abat sing ataha. Ya government ni magsunga ni ang sini Megala State ko Nampak syangga pas state canggau ni kita ungkat na sendiri muksungan ni punga. To be among the top ten states in the country. Ia namain rakapa objective vision ba goal ba punga. Ante bantu sa kantin uia. Ante vision gri. Mamang muksunga gri. Ang sing kam ka ode, ang sing mamang saloba susok na matjawa. Football ka loba, goal post gri, ang sing football ka lode, arara o kaya. May na goal post sa ar goal chpani, ang sing ni muksongani o kaya. Wan absent ka? Mandi ni janggi thanganiyo. Organisasi ni kam ka aniyo, ba government ni kam ka aniyo, anjing mukhsonga gri, ba vision gri anjing kam ka ode, mamang saloba anjing susuk na matjawa. Uni kaman iya anjing na rak bega pa, vision ba mission ungo ba, mission genang kam ka osa anjing susuk na matna. Yeri angge pa bulsi bunga ni gisepo. Ya mission ko nan baksa government dengtang dengtang level rango kam rango apa cinga tah. Dahalo megaleni infrastructure ni kam rango na simang niat bo. Megalaya total eleven thousand kilometers road rang tonga. Ya eleven thousand kilometer road ni gisepo. Rianggapa bulsi bongani gisepon, out of eleven thousand, almost close to four thousand kilometers ko, ya government ni somayo singa thariyot naha. Uni oto de almost thirty five percent plus roads were made during the tenure of MDA one and MDA two. Ramarang ko tharian baksa, anci ni plak. Block offices rangko, getal building rangko sanction ka e. Block ang sini block office rang nats nga, talo getal block office rangko rike ot ninga. Yan rianggap pa, bulsi sot punga ni gisepo. Bata ang sini block rangko, infrastructure rang siung jatsin. Araya rangko thari na ba? Siung agata, support rangko, batang kapesya rangko sanction ka jatsin. Ini bayar yang apa bel si bongani kisepo, block CNRD block na, getal block building ko, ya government sanction ka ay pun naha. Una agri ba? Dengtang dengtang at sini government LP school rang, total amounting to two thousand five hundred LP schools tonga, government LP schools. Ya government LP school rang na. Getal building, ba renovation na ba? Ya government tangka pesaran ko otne, ya yang apa bel si bunga ni gisepo, ya kamrang ko cinga abat cinga tah. Bak ah school rango, school building rang dongjatsem, ba school building dongoba, 
Obosarang Namjatsin. Unigaman Yarangu Dintangatna Singa School Building Rangna. More than five hundred crores ko Riangpa Yabul Sibongani Gisepo. Tanka Pesharanko sanction ka e Singa School Ranko Rkna Abat Singaha. Jal Jivan Mission ni true. Jal Jivan Mission 2019 no abat Ya 2019 na skang Megalayao total coverage Hazar bunga nuktang rangba ukjatsim Uni oto de Less than 1% household India ga merkon Last position no chum Megalaya Andeba da alo balsi ka tam nigi sepo 1% o ni Megalaya da alo 77% o na sukaha India ni average na dalo bat chok. Arubal si antian. Government of India ni. Ya jal jivan mission ko na me kam ka anigaman. Additional bonus tangka pesarang ko ba. Megalaya surkari. Bal si antian. Singa bonus funds rang ko matnaha. Una agri ba. Achini dengtang dengtang police department ni. Outpost rang police station rang ko. Ruuta bulsirang na galtspe do natsum. Yarang kuba dalo dung tangat na. Police department na dung tang mancha. Engineering wing ko ko liemeng. Ya engineering wing ni true. Tanga pesirang ko dalo sanction ka e. Sga outpost rang ko. Aro thana rang ko repair ka e utninga. Unagreba. Ya di anggap bal si bongani kisepo sports ko develop kat na dal dal gapa stadium rangko aru deng tang deng tang district aru constituency rango stadium rangko ya di anggap bal si bongani bong kisepo singa thariye unaha aru bangha skim rangko additional skim rangko singa sanction kat jo aida di anggap bal si bongau Ya, ri anggap aku naskang, belsi sot pribungau. J stadium rangko ba skim rangko, sports department na sanction ka atsum. Una baten, ya belsi bunga ni gisepo, singa skim rangko sanction ka e utnaha. Bangkija sal sumai rang ni gisepon, turau, singa getal gepa, secretariat na, mini secretariat, aru integrated administrative complex ko rkna rchasa bunga crore ko chinga sanction ka jo mizalo ri angemang anga yani location ko ba anga ni yaha aru ya march jani gi sepon chinga tender ka e haida ba na ode election as kang ba kam rang ko ba ba chingat na ba work order ko na chinga chotun ka gen de ba by chance election ko ode ba election unas kang announce ko ode Election ni jatuh mana? Singa work order orang ko ngat eh ngat ken? Anje bah kam ko? Ya bel sini gisepon, rencasa bunga kroni, getal, integrated administrative complex ni project ko turau singa abat singat ken? Una agreba? Nai sema sakan cun uya? Shillong o? New Shillong Township, bah new administrative city ko na singa kam orang ko abat singat dah. This new administrative city in Shillong is going to be a modern and state-of-the-art township that we are planning to make. This will be one of the biggest projects that the state government would have undertaken. Roughly close to 2,000 crores will be spent in developing this new township including different roads, water supply scheme, and the new Secretariat building. As you're aware, this new Secretariat is important for the state because the capital is congested. And hence, to decongest it, the only way to move forward is to ensure 
that we are able to shift the administration away from the current locations. And hence, with that objective, we have decided to start the work for the new administrative city. And I am happy to inform you that the designs are being finalized. Within another couple of months, we will finalize the designs. And we expect that right after the general elections of the Lok Sabha, we should be able to initiate the construction of the new secretariat in New Shillong area. Just recently, we have laid the foundation stone for three important roads that will link old or current Shillong to the new Shillong administrative city. This is being done because without the road connectivity, it will not make any sense for us to shift to the new location. I want to ask our children who are standing there that if you feel dizzy, if you don't feel well, please sit down. I don't want anybody to fall down, especially our children. If you don't feel well, please sit down. But if you're okay, then it is good if you can stand. But if you don't feel good, don't hesitate to sit down. I, as chief guest, I'll allow you to sit down. So I request the children, if you cannot uh, stand, then please do sit down. Shillong Administrative by Shillong Secretariat, Gatal Secretariat Ko, Sanction Kaan Baksa, Jowayo Mini Secretariat, Aro Peninsula Area by Gatal Mini Secretariat Ko Rukna, Singa Kamran Ko, Abad Singa Taha. Unikaman Pengrang Yer, Yangapa Bulsi Bongani Gisepo, Maximum Antini Sector Ango. Dung thang, dung thang, gatal project rang ko, kam ka e. Megalaya ko, ang chini top 10 states so na sukat na. Ya chini muksunga ni ko, sukat na. Chinga rakken, ri ang kapabal sibonga ni gisepo, kam rang ko, ka aha. Aro yari, ba yung kapabal sibonga ni gisepo ba? Dung thang, dung thang, dal gapa project rang ko, take up ka e. Chinga megalaya ko, develop ka na. Chini muksunga ni, dung ha, aro yarang ko, chinga, so, so got kin, and they are so many bako, and I'm gonna see you. Yeah, the tongue, the tongue project rang baksa. Actually, Garo Hills na, Aro Tura naba. Yeah, 2024 will see. Namen na, Namkapa, will see you. Aha, but Namkapa start to a, and yanga, yeah, so many bako, and I could see you. My name is Hazard Gene, Kodrak Bri, will see you. Gisepo. For the first time in the history of our state, India ni president Thurau na ribai walsa Thurau dungangjo. Yana chingna sakkan chinan Thura town ni citizen rangna aro Garo Hills ni citizen rangna aro Meghalaya state ni citizen rangna ba. Yana chingna na main ku siokani khatsani aro rasong chani khata ponga. Anga dungtang mancha ya chol ko rai anching ni president Madam Dropadi Murmukuba, Angaya Cholkurae, the Tangmansa, Matella, Kusio. Hazargani Kodruk Bribal Sio, Ya fifty two years of statehood, Gisepo, Skangapat Sangna, Ansung Turao, Megalaya Games Quansen, Dakna Matnaha, Yaban Sangana Men Kusio Ani, Aro Rasong Chanikata, Uma, Angaya Cholkurae, Tura town ni mandirang ko ba? Anga matel naska. Aro congratulate ka naska. Anchini district administration, deputy commissioner aro bini team ko ba? Anga dung tang mansa matel naska. Mayna ya games ko chusokat na. Anchini president ni visit ko chusokat na. Government aro department rang ni kam ka arang baksa. Administration aro mong sombate. Public ni dak saka ni kuts nga mana men matnaha. Unde ka mana nga na men kusio ka public rang na men dak saka ha. Dengtang dengtang locality rango beautification ni program ang ko katsok 
na me bi aprang ko thadia ha aro chini guest trangna dungthang dungthang athlete trangna anching nam gappa be walchi anching nam gappa reception ang ko utna ma nani gman ang ana isimang sakkan chi ko ba ya chol kura e ang ama thelna kusiu a ya hazar gani kodrak pribul sini gi sepo aro mangsa na me na china garo hills ni mandirang na kusiu ka niara anching ni Turani Raj Bhavan ko ang inaugurate ka na matjo. Yan ang sa kantina na main important project ko ang Ya project ko ruuta bulsirang na kalspe do natin. Hindi ba yan ni kamrang ko? Hazar gani chisko ba? Hazar gani kodro bulsiyo chinga kamrang ko abat chinga te? Gatal sanction ang ko otne dalo chinga ya Raj Bhavan ko 2024 o 52 years ni jaman an chini ya thura raj bhavan ko ba an chin machutna matna ha inaugurate katna matna ha aro ya raj bhavan on an chini president ba yanon paul kaatin in thang mancha ya ri bang pa bil sibri bil sibonga ni gisepo ba nga development ti kamra ko aro infrastructure ni kamra ko chinga dak nam songi ga Anga state kembar ku akan jawab. Di bangga thura town ni kemen mengsa menggini seni maksungan dia nak ku anga akan naska. Sekarang apa deh? P A Sangma Integrated Stadium mo. Sengah getal gallery ku dah u sanction kak gen. V I P gallery ni opposite tu. Tunggu apa biap ku? Sengah clear kak emang. Wano dah la public gallery ku sengah rukna maksungi nga. Wano minimum. 5,000 to 6,000 to maximum 8, 9,000 mandirang na ba public na uno asung sak na aro games ang kuni na dal gapa gallery ko chingar na magsungi nga ya football stadium ni kisango ba na isimang sa kanchin uya dal gapa indoor stadium ko chingar uno perke nga ya indoor stadium mo Olympic size swimming pool dong gen ya integrated Indoor stadium mo, basketball court trang dong gen. Yaba national aro international standard ni. Yano natin volleyball court, deng tang deng tang badminton na. On nakie deng tang deng tang indoor games trang ko contact sport trang ko katna. Ya integrated indoor PS angma integrated indoor stadium mo. Tsinga yendak pa facilities trang ko tsni o nani mukswani trang donga. Aru ya project ko na isman sa kantin uya kamrang ko abat singa taha. Aru ya ko singa hazar gani kodrak bunga bulsi Christmas na skang ya ko matcotat na singa joton ka inga. Una agreba dalo je ang sinig talga pa pa togan ning menja sangmani bimengsi mangepa track and field synthetic track and field stadium ko ba singa Dal gapa galeri orang ko erkna second phaseo cengah cikak jo, ya galeriyo minimum six seven thousand mandirang na asung cak na cengah biap orang ko don gain, aru ya pesan galeriyon cengah hotel ba guest room orang ko ba thari na cengah maksungi nga, aru restaurant orang ko ba cengah wapsan biap orang ko cengah biap pun cengah dak na maksungi nga. Una agreba na sima sa kancin uia. Dalo information technology na main na tsing nagam chata. Aro information technology park rang ko tsing nagalo shilongo phase 1, phase 2 ko tsing nga phase 1 ko magchota ha. Aro phase 2 ko rikna ba tsing jo. Ya phase 2 ba haida 2025 April na skang ya ko tsing nga magchote. Inaugurate ka na maggen. Hindi ba? Ya information technology Aro innovation ni cahsungo, jadi tak boleh anci ni garu hills ni ada curah ni cahdam berang ba, bak rang ko rak nama gen, ya ko maksonge, curau ba, first phase IT park ko rakna cengah tangkap pesarang ko sanction kat jo, ya ni kam rang ko ba, ya bersih ni gisep pun cengah first IT aro innovation ba technology park ko curau ba sanction kat E, ya bersih ni gisep pun Singa kamrang ko abat singat kin. Unang yung manipeng rang, bak nga nak pa infrastruktur ni development ni kamrang dunga, detail rang ko, plak ko agan na de sumerang dung jawa, 
andeba anga thurani ga ban simang na dalo paraka ha arwan takke dun thang dun thang bi aprang oba ap san takke dal dal ga pa infrastructure project rang kutsnga abat singat kin reping rang infrastructure rang baksa dalo ya chni government ni muksunga ni ya 10 billion dollar economy aro top 10 states so number strong pa state rang ni sepo kesa state ung atna chni ya muksunga ni ko chusuk atna Antony infrastructure baksa, Antony public naba, Antony gamigi e chagaparangna, Antony entrepreneurs rangna, Antony chadambi rangna, Antony mitchikma group rangna, Antony chol rangko ut namat zaude, Antony mamung saloba yamak sumanyo, Antony chusukna mat zawa. Unigaman Antony gamigi e chagapa, Nok dang rangna, dung tang, dung tang, chini mission mode program rangko chingat pa chingat chu. IVCS group rangni true. Dung thang dung thang dak chak ni rangko chinga ut na ha. Focus focus plus ni true. Kror ni kror thang ka rangko chinga liang apa sumay rangko jok ta oba ut ni nga aro mkhang chiba ut nang kugin. Processing plant rang. Dal dal ga pa processing unit rang. Ya rangko chinga megalaya ni dung thang dung thang bak rangko hariye mang. Dal lo process ka e. Ya bostu rangko international market rang chida lo palinga. The Lakadong mission through which we have promoted Lakadong turmeric is a huge success today. Hundreds and hundreds of farmers have benefited. For the first time, there is a focused approach to processing. And you'll be happy to know that Lakadong turmeric today is selling in Dubai, in Japan, in Europe, and in many other parts of the world. We have focused on processing and on value addition. Meghalaya produces broomsticks worth almost 1,000 crores every year. 1,000 crores of raw broomstick is produced in Meghalaya every year. But these broomsticks are sold to the traders as raw material only. We do not make the finished product, the jharu. We simply sell the raw material as plain broomsticks only. And therefore, in order to now add value to that, we have started putting up processing centers in different parts of the state. Just recently, I had inaugurated one of them in Waijer, Jentia Hills. And like that, many, many more processing units to make the finished broomstick, the finished jharu, as we call it, so that our farmers and our entrepreneurs can get more value. We have started that process. You will be surprised to know that if we are successfully able to process every single broomstick and make it into a jharu, we will be able to increase the income of the farmers from 1,000 crores today to 2,500 crores. That is why value addition is important. The turmeric we sell, if we sell it raw, it may fetch us 200, 100 rupees. If we sell the powder, it may fetch us 600 rupees. But if we are able to sell the curcumin, which is the real medicinal product or chemical, the ingredient, the, the most important pharmaceutical or medical ingredient in the turmeric, if we are able to take out curcumin and sell it, it will sell at 6,000 rupees per liter. So that is the difference and that is the benefit of adding value. Unika min sats nga, anchini dung tang dung tang farmers rangko, gammeh ki ech agapa rangko, anchini chadambe rangko, processing plant rangko ko li bo, bosu rangko process ka bo, ya bosu rangko na me package ka bo, ane da alo chnga, nam gapap shuna skhene rangko, guidance rangko, aro, Tak cakap ni orang kucinga dah lo utinga. Unikeman, anjini kami ke itu cakap orang na, ia nam gempa 
chol rang kwat chung on jas kal de an chung ya mak songa ni ko an chung mamang saloba an chung sukat na mat jawa wan apsan dakyan chung ni chadam berang na anga pang na nagan nga an chung ni chadam berang an an chung ni yutan an chung ni gam chat bat kepa gam oka the biggest asset for any nation is the youth of the nation we must channelize their energy in the right direction anchini chadam berang na anching nam gappa chol rangko utnama jaude bisong ni ya energy ko nam gappa productive khamna chakhalama jaude they will always go into the wrong things when again chadam berang na namgappa opportunity aro cholko nani government baksa anchini society ni khamba oka anchini magappa phagappa rangba anchini mondolini dalgappa rangba tangthang tangthang group ni member rangba anchini chadam berang na namgappa skiani rangko aro namgappa chol rangko anchini sakanchian utna nanga ene ya sumeni bakwa nga mona ska Antini chadam berang na chol rangko unna muksonge Meghalaya games tak parang kuch nga alo bul sian tian chinga u katinga Nasma sakantin uya yan 5th edition chim Riyanga pa bul si sotponga gni ni gi sepo ya bonga ka pa changa changna ya Meghalaya games ko ataha Aru ya 5th edition ya riyanga pa bul si bonga ni gi sepo yan gtham ka pokinga Skanga para hazar gani sabal siyo nga chum. Megalai games. Gandhi ka pa hazar gani bribal siyo nga ha. Aro uni cha man. Ya MDA government ni somayo. Chinga hazar gani chi skho skanga pa ngata. Un jaman hazar gani kudrak gani kudrak thambal siyo ngata. Aro da uya bal si hazar gani kudrak brio. Chinga fifth edition ko unga chok. Aro ma kang bal si. Chinga jente hil so jowayo. Sixth edition ko hos ka gen. As you are aware, that we will be hosting the next Meghalaya Games in 2025 January in Jentia Hills, and the main location will be Jowai, apart from other locations where the infrastructures are available. So, therefore, investing in our youth has been one of the most important agendas for this government. I am happy to inform you. That starting this year, we will take forward the different chief ministers' championship award in different categories. You are aware that we had started the chief ministers' entrepreneurship award. I intend not just to have chief ministers' entrepreneurship award, but we will have the chief ministers' sports award. We will have sports competitions in different districts. We will have the Chief Minister's Music Award, where we will have different music contests in different parts of the state, so that our young generation can utilize that talent in a positive way. If necessary, we will have Chief Minister's dancing competitions also, depending on the desire of the youth. So that our youth at district levels also can then participate. I can understand that our youth want to do many things, but they don't get the opportunity. I can imagine that when these contests are organized, when children are in their village or in their district or in their block discussing about how tomorrow there's going to be the chief minister's music contest, I need to practice. I need to work. I cannot waste time. They will ask their friends and their parents to help them. There will be excitement in the family. There will be excitement among friends. Oh, there is the CM's football contest tomorrow. We have to practice. Oh, tomorrow is the chief minister's dance contest. We need to practice. And hence, it is not about only having the competition. It is about engaging the youth for positive things. That is our 
main focus. And let me also share this with you, that the CM contests, the Chief Minister's different awards will not just be for activities. I intend to start the Chief Minister's science competition also. Chief Minister's innovation competition. I want children to take interest in science. When there is a competition, children get excited. They start to read. They start to research. They start to take interest. They talk to their friends. They search on the internet. Chief Minister's science competition will be one of the most important competitions as per the youth of our state. I will be having the Chief Minister's mathematician competition in districts. We will have maths competition and we will give financial award for children who take part in mathematics. Different competitions will take place. I am contemplating to have the Chief Minister's debate also. So what I am trying to tell you is that the youth of our state, I repeat, is our greatest asset. And one of the biggest challenges for any government is always to ensure that we are able to produce responsible, God-fearing, disciplined, hard-working citizens of our state and of our country. And it is with that objective that different gains, different programs, and these different competitions will be organized for the youth of our state. I also take this opportunity to share with you that the Women's Self-Help Group program has been very, very successful in our state. We will be one of the few states to actually have one member or one female member from every rural household to be part of a self-help group. We are almost reaching a saturation point. And many states have not been able to achieve this. And this has happened in the last five years. And this is important because we want our women to be economically empowered. Only when our women are economically empowered and they are contributing to the growth of our nation and to the growth of our state, only then can we achieve 100% growth and full capacity and make sure that we use our resources in the best manner. And hence, all of these activities are leading towards Meghalaya becoming a $10 billion economy and Meghalaya becoming one of the top 10 states in the country. challenges task na min task economy five billion dollars son. Five billion dollars. Yaku da lo five billion uni ten billion on sukatna. Ram ram ukja. Unigaman challenges rang bang gain. And the ba anting sakantian na me ku monge gi sit nange rake and ting kam ka o de ya muksongwaniku anting sukatna man gain anyanga beber ah. Talo ba nga kamrang kuri ang babal si mga nigi sepo ka zok yaku ka on chuunga ni agan tenga aro plak kamrang ko matchota ha ba plak problem rang ko tsinga solve ka zok anet tsinga ganza problem rang ba kuinga ba nga kamrang ko dakna nang kuinga and ba right direction aro right vision ko ra e dalo tsinga kamrang ko ka inga aro ba nga area rango Tinga necessary policy ranko, foundation ranko, aro plan program ranko tinga thariye kam ranko apat tinga chok. Unige man yah plak kam ranko dalu sukat na de government baksa society aro public aro community ba bakura e yisik nange kam ka na nanggen 
Nagyan ang kam kausa, gisik nang kam kausa, ang sing ya magsunga ni ko ang sing susukat naman gin. So friends, I once again take this opportunity to wish all of you on the 75th Republic Day of India. It is a very, very important moment, I believe, that for the state of Meghalaya, this particular period where we are having political, in a sense, some political stability, where we are seeing continuity of a government. I'm not saying my government or anybody else's government. But continuity in a government ensures more confidence among the people. Continuity in a government ensures policy focus and ensuring that there's a continuity in policy making, in decision making. Continuity of a government ensures that we can actually plan and say that, well, three years from now, we should be doing this because on the fourth year, we will do this. So therefore, this is a important period in the history of our state and I believe that with God's blessing and with the blessing of all the citizens of our state in these next five years this government will take and we will strive to take Meghalaya to new heights once again I wish all of you the very best and I wish all of you on this very auspicious occasion of the 75th Republic Day of India. May God bless our great nation and may God bless our beautiful state of Meghalaya. Kublai Shibun, Mathela and Jai Hind. parade for the 75th Republic Day celebration is being led by First Parade Commander Krison Armarak, MPS, Deputy Superintendent of Police. The Second Commander Sri J.P.C. Sangma, ABI, 2nd MLP Battalion, Goira Gray. is that of 120 battalions CRPF led by platoon commander ASI PD Gupta. Following 120 battalion CRPF is 2nd MLP battalion Goiragri led by platoon commander ABSI LG Moment.
approaching the saluting base is to right DEF, led by platoon commander ABSI P. Sangma. The fourth contingent is that of Tura Government College NCC boys, led by Mr. Kiron Hajong, senior under officer. We have our Tura Government College NCC girls, led by platoon commander Ms. Versume M. Sangma, senior under officer. is that of Don Bosco College NCC boys led by Mr. Alfredo C.H. Marak, Jr. Under Officer. Now passing the saluting base is the Don Bosco College NCC girls, led by junior under officer Ms. Nosarina G. Momen. The Don Bosco Higher Secondary School combined NCC now passed the saluting base, led by Mr. Krian Flez and Salma. Company Sergeant Major. Mr. Nagjagran C.H. Marap now pass the saluting base with the combined scout contingent. Combined guide contingent now at the saluting base, led by Ms. Jessica Arika D. Shira. And the combined guide contingent is at the saluting base, led by Ms. Yumi Christine K. Sangma. Finally, the band party now arrives at the saluting base. The second MLP Battalion Goiragre Band party led by ABSI Sri Bharat Chaudhary. We will now have the tableau presentation by the various line departments. For the very first time, we have a tableau presentation by the Bharat Scouts and Guides Sura in collaboration with the Education Department. Bharat Scouts and Guides is a non-profit, non-political and non-government movement of young students which is a part of school curriculum and directly involved in the Education Department. 
Bharat Scouts and Guides aim to give development to the young people in achieving their full physical, intellectual, emotional, social and spiritual well-being through different trainings and skills. And now we make way for tablet number two from the B Department of Integrated Child Depart Development Services, ICDS Tura. Anganwadi Services under Umbrella Integrated Child Development Services or ICDS scheme provides nutritional meals, preschool education, primary health care, immunization, health checkup and referral services to children under six years of age, pregnant nursing mothers and adolescent girls of 14 to 18 years of age. Under these services, assessment of a child's growth is an essential component for which periodic growth monitoring of children is mandatorily carried out on a monthly basis. Supplementary nutrition program, one of the key components of the scheme is primarily designed to improve the nutritional status of women and children in India. Under this program, fortified food items are evenly distributed among the beneficiaries in the form of hot cooked meal at Anganwadi centers and take home ration to children under six years of age pregnant nursing and adolescent girls. Food fortification is the practice of adding vitamins and minerals to food items to increase their nutritional value. The food item in turn fills the nutritional gap by increasing intake of vitamins and minerals by young children at the Anganwadi centers, further curtailing undernourishment. Coming up, we have civil defense and home guards. Civil defense is the defense of the people, by the people, and for the people, and refers to measures adopted by the civilian population and the concerned authorities during times of war to minimize the impact of any enemy attack and includes any measures. Civil defense organization was established in Tura in the year 2001 and the town of Tura is categorized as a civil defense category 2 town by the Ministry of Home Affairs. The main objective of civil defense organization is to provide training to the civilian population to build up the capacity of the local populace in the effective and efficient management of disasters. And to this end, the organization continues imparts trainings and conducts mock drills in the accomplishment of its mandated task. The SDRF personnel have most notably been deployed during the floods in Dadingri in 2014, the COVID pandemic in 2020, and during the recent floods in June 2022, which witnessed unprecedented rains, landslides, and flooding in the districts of South Garo Hills, Southwest Garo Hills, and West Garo Hills districts. Tableau number four is from the Department of District Agriculture Office under the theme, Per Drop, More Crop. Per Drop, More Crop is a component of Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sanchai Yojana, which was launched on 1st July 2015 with the objective to achieve convergence of investments in irrigation sector at field level. Objectives of per drop more crop are to increase the area under irrigation technologies to enhance water efficiency in the counting, increase productivity of crop and income of farmers through precision water management, promote micro technologies in water intensive or consuming crops, make potential use of micro irrigation system for promoting fertigation, promote micro technologies in water scarce and critical groundwater blocks or districts, and to create employment opportunities for skilled and unskilled persons, especially unemployed youth, for installation and maintenance of micro irrigation system. We now have the tableau by Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Department and their theme is nutritious farm products under animal husbandry. The Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary is concerned with livestock and poultry that are raised for meat, fiber, milk, or other products. 
It includes day-to-day -day care, management, production, nutrition, selective breeding and the raising of livestock and poultry. Today, they are emphasizing on protein-rich farm products from cattle and poultry. Animal proteins found in meat and poultry provide excellent high-quality protein, vitamin B12 and the minerals iron and zinc. Animal proteins are known as complete proteins as they contain all the essential amino acids. Deficiency in protein can cause malnutrition conditions like kwashiorkor or swollen stomach and marsmus that, that is wasting of fats and muscles in the body. Animal husbandry department plays an important role in producing high quality animal protein from meat, milk and their byproducts. Rearing of livestock and poultry provides employment to a large number of farmers and thereby increases their economic status. Our next tableau, number six, is from the Department of Calamp with the theme, Rainwater Harvesting. Rainwater Harvesting is one of the initiatives of the CLLMP CLAM project of MBMA and Government of Meghalaya under the World Bank project. In the tableau presentation display, shown above the achievements of the projects and various efforts made towards conservation of water, NRM management and forest conservation and payment for ecosystem services. With its impact of a total of 5011.442 hectares in 40 villages and total 20,302 households benefited under CLAM project in 40 villages. In 40 villages, 445 interventions with 59 additional activities, 38 permanent nurseries, forest management plan in 38 villages, and seven cluster development fund activities. A total of 20 villages are also taken up under CLAMP as catalytic fund with total of 40 activities. We now have the tableau by Tura Municipal Board. A scientific approach to waste disposal for a greener Tura. Tura Municipal Board is showcasing a visionary tableau, a scientific approach to waste disposal for greener Tura. The three different colored bins are for different categories of waste. Green bin for biodegradable waste, blue bin for non-biodegradable waste, yellow bin for disposing hazardous waste. The concept of compost pit is also being depicted. Tura Municipal Board would like to request all citizens of this beautiful town to make a compost pit for be vegetable waste, biodegradable kitchen waste in their compounds and make the goal of from kitchen scraps to garden goal for a thriving Tura a success. The small Bolero garbage pickup is showing the residents depositing the garbage bags directly to the vehicle. This is an appeal to all residents to dispose the garbage bags directly to garbage vehicles and to refrain from depositing or leaving the garbage bags on the roadsides. It may be mentioned that this tableau is hand constructed by the staff and officers of Tura Municipal Board with the guidance of its own in-house engineer wing. All materials used except for the banners is eco-friendly and biodegradable.
a very colorful tableau now makes its way. It's tableau number eight from the district election office, Tura. Every voter represents a voice that shapes the destiny of the country as a whole. Thus, elections continue to hold a special place in the nation as a celebration of awareness and alertness among the populace. It also insists voters to play a significant role in the world's largest democracy by casting their vote. Inclusivity, a key promoting participation from all eligible voters, irrespective of caste, gender, or socioeconomic status. It also serves to acknowledge outstanding contributors in the conduct and administration of elections, thereby upholding India's democratic values. The Election Commission of India has initiated a new initiative of eEpic. It is an electronic version or digital version of the election voter ID card, which can be accessed through the official website and voter helpline app or voters portal of the Election Commission of India, enhancing convenience for eligible voters aged 18 and above. The District Election Office has embarked on a district awareness program on electronic voting machines and voter verifiable paper audit trail ahead of the 2024 general elections. This program conducted across 11 assembly constituencies in 50, sorry, 539 polling stations aims to provide citizens with a first-hand experience of the voting process, dispel misconceptions, and boost confidence. We Meghalaya State Rural Livelihood Society, MSRLS, Nodal Agency for Implementing National Rural Livelihood Mission, NRLM, with the theme, Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. Their vision, redressing poverty in the rural areas by identifying the poor and vulnerable, empowering them and providing, providing them livelihoods opportunity. The tableau depicts how women self-help groups have raised women's role as decision makers and beneficiaries in the democratic, social, economic and cultural realms of life. Structure of the institutions of the poor, SHGs, VOs, CLFs, to become a responsive, inclusive, accountable, social and sustainable body. Implementation of first ever natural farming through community-based organization for agroecological practice and sustainable development and livelihood improvement. The BC project, business correspondence project, through the deployment of BC agent in one AEC, one BC model for rural digital payment, improving the health and nutrition of women and children through the joint collaboration with the health department and social welfare department and changing behavioral approach of community through FNHW and rescue mission. Lastly, in the background, the practice of kangaroo mother care depicting for newborn child. Now we have tableau number 10 from the department of PHE, Jal Jeevan Mission, West Garo Hills. Jal Jeevan Mission program in rural areas of West Garo Hills district has made the lives of many people easier. The PHE department is working tirelessly to provide safe drinking water to every household and also equip the villagers with the knowledge and training to look after their own water supply. The tableau depicts the story of a small family who is now extremely happy to receive the drinking water at their own doorstep, for which they have been waiting for ages and, and is now being able to utilize water for different domestic purposes, thus saving time and energy for other work. The slogans being displayed portray the promises and the efforts 
that we have to make to safeguard our precious natural resource. So let us all pledge to conserve our natural resources and use water judiciously. The next tableau is of the Office of the Superintendent of Fisheries, West Coral Hills. Government back schemes have propelled community fish ponds in the district, transitioning to medium scale operations with a production of 5,520 metric tons during the year 2022-23. This growth boosted the fishery sector through farming projects, retail outlets, seed hatcheries and feed mills, creating employment and improving local livelihoods. Today's tableau presentation highlights fish sanctuaries with watchtower construction for conserving indigenous fish. Efforts extended to promoting ornamental aquarium fish and ecotourism, contributing to biodiversity preservation and community economic benefits. The department emphasizes sustainable practices, aiding individuals in enhancing livelihoods with increased profitability from minimum investments. Presenting tableau number 12 from the District Labor Office Tura. District Labor Office Tura wants to highlight on Meghalaya Building and other construction workers welfare board for grant on membership to the Meghalaya Building and other construction workers welfare board and also the registration of unorganized workers under eShram portal. The workers can get registered and access the benefits available under the scheme. The unorganized workers may be home-based workers, self-employed or a wage worker, domestic worker, agriculture worker or farmer, construction workers, tailor, driver, etc. If you are unorganized worker above 16 years and below 59 years, you can get yourselves registered at the nearest common service center or visit the district labor office for more information. The Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan is a voluntary and contributory pension scheme for unorganized worker for entry age of 18 to 40 years with monthly income of rupees 15,000 or less. Last but not least, District Commerce and Industry Centre presents a tableau on Prime Minister's Vishwakarma Scheme. Prime Minister's Vishwakarma Scheme was launched by the Central Government on the 17th of September 2023 with the objective to empower traditional artisans and craft persons at the rural and urban areas with the sole purpose to offer end-to-end -end support to the artisans Highlights of the scheme include free basic and advanced training with a stipend of rupees 500 per day, toolkit grant of rupees 15,000 after completion of the training, and recognition as a craftsperson through certificate and ID card. Credit support to the trained artisans up to 3 lakhs with 5% interest, digital transaction incentives, and marketing support. In the first phase, 18 trades have been covered un under the scheme. The trades include masonry, blacksmithy, basketry, barber, carpenter, sculptor, tailoring, cobbler, doll, and toy maker. Till date, West Garoyles has registered 1,832 artisans for the scheme, which is the highest number in the state. Interested artisans may register for the scheme at the nearest CSE.
tablo gi antinan wamangi somoina wamangi namnambe ni tobi antengna makrakata ni ko onayan onare banina department gi antikon mathela jinma kon wamangna rakbe e chapako dokatna mol molata a big hand ladies and gentlemen for all our tableau presentations today Anting daw cultural program rong anari ibas kana. Let us now immerse ourselves in the cultural program to add spark to our celebration of the 75th Republic Day at this venue. To set the tone to our festivities, please welcome the students of one of the most renowned schools of Tura. Tura Public School for their patriotic number. Tura Public School na sumay ko lang na.
next performer on call, Ready also Pachina Molmolata. Very good morning to all of you. We, the students of Sula Public School, are very glad to be present in this auspicious event. Today, we stand before you to present a song entitled Matu Jai Salam, beautifully composed by A.R. Rahman, which says, Mother, I salute you, wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. Mathela and Jay Hind, thank you to Ra Public School and the wonderful musicians led by a very talented music teacher for your beautiful rendition.
our land is a land of diverse cultures, and that is what defines us the most. Please welcome the Hajong dancers of one of the prestigious schools in Tura, Nokrek Heights Tura. The Hajongs are an ethnic group from Northeast India. They are here with Lewatana, which means clearing of creepers, and the relationship that ensues at, as the young boys and girls engage in the clearing to their liking, and during this time, exchange of heart and mind takes place, which ultimately ends up in a marriage. The attire put on by a Hajong women is patin, and it is also called rangapatni because the color of this piece of dress is red. They cover the upper part of their body with argun and some ornaments. The dance that the students of Nokrek Heights School, students that they are going to present now is the combination of two songs, that is Lewatana and Jakkamana, which denotes the unity love, care, and strength of people of the Hajong tribe. Ladies and gentlemen, students of Nogrek Heights Tura. Woo! <laughs> 
thank you students of Nokrek Heights Tura for bringing in a piece of your culture here to our celebrations. Sangsatay Sakantikon Matela. Over to my co-host for the first segment of our award ceremony. Thank you. We now have the Village Water Sanitation Committee Award. The Public Health Engineering Department, West Garo Hills District, recognizes the efforts made by the Village Water Sanitation Committee of two villages, namely Kamangalwangre of Sesela Block and Babadam of Rongram Block, and would like to appreciate them by honoring them with the award of Best Village Water Sanitation Committee. I would like to request our Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Sri Konrad K. Sangma, to kindly do the honors. Kama Galwangri. The VWSC members have adopted certain practices such as community-driven approach and involvement which makes the JJM program a success in their village. They have nominated an individual to collect the water tariff and mandated a tariff of rupees 100 per household per month as a part of operation and maintenance. They have also nominated an individual to regulate the water timing and have also taken a resolution to clean the source of the water periodically. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Kama Galwangre village. Next, we have Babadam village. The VWSC members of Babadam Village are very diligent, show an active participation and involvement with the department to get her ghar jal. They have opened a new joint bank account specifically for Jal Jeevan mission and have mandated a water tariff of rupees 30 per household per month for maintenance. They have also taken a resolution to have a meeting at least five times a year and clean the dam periodically. A big round of applause for Babadam Village. Thank you, sir. And with that, we move on with our cultural program. Our next performers are all set to take the center stage as we welcome the students of one of the premier colleges of Tura. Please welcome the students of Don Bosco College, Tura. Okay. 
Yes, we salute our motherland. Thank you for adding life to our celebrations with that touching performance. Ha, hum sab hai dil wale Hindustani, Mathela Don Bosco College, Tura. We now have another award to distribute. The award for the top performing PHC in the district. I would like to request our Honorable MLA of Selsala, Sri Arbinson Mara, to kindly do the honors, sir. The award for the top performing PHC in the district based on the overall performance under MHIS and ABPMJY implementation. And the top performing PHC in the district is Darengre PHC. Congratulations, Darengre PHC. Thank you, sir.
here to enthrall us with their performance for today. Please welcome the students of one of the best institutions in Tura, the students of St. Xavier's High Secondary School for their dance performance. There are always good days and bad days, but don't worry girls, you were graceful as ever. Thank you for igniting the patriotic feels among us. Thank you, St. Xavier's High Secondary School. Over to my co-host for another round of appreciation awards. The District Administration, West Garo Hills, would like to confer the appreciation awards to the recommended staff of the various departments for carrying out their duties at their respective workplaces diligently. I would like to request our DIGS in range, Dr. M.G. Raghavendra, to kindly do the honors, sir. First, we have Sri Lendit N. Sangma, Head Assistant, Department Superintending Engineer, PHE, Tura Circle, Sri Lendit N. Sangma. One again, Gini Baba Radio Pachina Motmolatinga, Sri Pran Gobinda Saha, Veterinary Assistant, District AH and Veterinary Office, West Garo Hills. Srimati Nangrang M. Sangma, ANM, Tikrikila, PHC, Medical Department. Sri Chrysone T. Sangma, Block Extension Educator, Dalu CHC, Dalu Block, Medical Department.
Shimati Christi Mithalin A. Sangma, multi-purpose rehabilitation worker, Dadingri Block, District Social Welfare Office. Next, we have Srimati Anna Mary M. Moman, community based rehabilitation worker, Tura Urban Area. Sri Bijoy Joshi, lineman, Tura Distribution Division, MEPD Sale Tura. Sri Weisfield D. Marak, lineman, Tura Distribution Division, MEPD Sale Tura. Sri Walen C.H. Marak, Pion, District Horticulture Office. Sri Uttam R. Marak, Grade 4, Mali, District Horticulture Office. Sri Ankur Newar, LDA. Office of the Superintendent of Police. Sri Jesse C.H. Sangma, LDA, Office of the Superintendent of Police. Sri Srimati Bidaling Airo A. Sangma, Grade 4 staff, Government Girls Higher Secondary School. Srimati Marsildha K. Sangma, Reeling Foreman, District Sericulture Office. Sri Melorius C. H. Marak, Supervisor, District Sericulture Office. Srimati Sulata Hajong, LDA District Handloom Office. And lastly, we have Sri Teni Bonsheng Armarak, LDA DC Office Revenue Branch. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you very much, sir. Moving on. Please welcome this very moment, a performance to ignite a feeling of belonging and oneness as we set apart all worldly differences and unite in the love for our land. The students of one of the esteemed schools in Tura, Captain Williams School, now here with their special number. Ailu Kalu, my land, my pride. There is no place better than our land where we belong and call home. Ailu Kalung is a song about the love of our native land and our pride. The sound and beauty of nature and mountains, a place of laughter and how we can never forget this beautiful land of ours. It also tells about the era of our forefathers and warriors bringing laurels and prestige and how they strive to praise our land with the sound of trumpets. Here with the Naga song, please welcome the students of Captain William School Tura.
Good morning, everyone. We are Captain Williams School, and today we stand here to sing another song called Adieu Come. Music has no barriers, and it proves so too. Thank you, students of Captain Williams Kultura. It was a joy hearing you all, and it really filled our hearts. Matella, tungna nagarangi ka strokpe rangani ko yabiapona rabai and sawatanina. Thank you once again. 
Dance is the hidden language of the soul. So they say, dance from your heart and let your passion shine through. The students of one of the elite schools in Tura, the students of Don Bosco Higher Secondary School Tura, are here for their special performance. Here they are to remind us to stand tall, to work for the betterment of our countrymen, for equality and for our rights enshrined in the Constitution. इतिहास का मैं आईना हूँ, तहसीब का रंग सुनाया, गंगा जमना मेरी आँखें, मैं नए भारत का जन्म, मैं कल भी था, मैं आज भी हूँ, मैं नवयुग का अंदाज़ भी हूँ, सारे इतिहास का मैं आईना हूँ, तहसीब का रंग सुनाया। मतलब भैया, दोन बोस्को हाई सेकेंडरी स्कूल चुराना, जिनमें जख्मों को दुपट्टा Thank you, Don Bosco High Secondary School Tura, for your wonderful performance on Bharat Ki Beti. And now I hand over the mic to Madam AVD Shira for presentation of Lifetime Achievement Award. The task of the leader is to get his people from where they are, not uh, to where they have not been. We have a very special announcement to make. This year, the district administration has selected a very distinguished, prominent senior citizen for Lifetime Achievement Award. The recipient is a very dedicated outstanding example of leadership, commitment, and reflect the highest standards of excellence as an inspiration to all. And the awardee is Sir Roderick D. Sura. His profile is being read out now. Sri Roderick D. Sura is the second son of Lad Samson K. Sangma and Lad 
Jakme di Sira of Upper Chanmari Tura. Sri Sira did his schooling from Tura Government High School, which was popularly known as MP School or Multi Purpose School at Proper Chanmari Tura. He passed his matriculation in 1959. He passes Intermediate of Science from St. Edmund's College, Shillong in 1961 and Bachelor of Science with honors in physics for which he was awarded with a gold medal from St. Javier's College, Calcutta in 1963. In 1963, he appeared in the All India Joint Entrance Test for admission to IITs and got selected to join directly in the second year of five integrated course in electronics and electrical communication engineering at IIT Kharagpur. He obtained his Bachelor of Technology degree with honors in electronics and electrical communication engineering in 1967 and has also been awarded gold medal for electronics. Sri Rodrik de Sira was also an FIE, Fellow of Institution of Engineers, a professional diploma awarded by the Institution of Engineers India in recognition of his contribution to the Indian industry. After graduation, Sri Sira started his career in the fertilizer industries as process control engineer and worked in FCI Sindri, HFCL Namrup Assam, Nongal Fertilizer Limited, Batindra, Punjab. In 1983, he joined Bongai Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited, presently Indian Oil Corporation Limited, BGR Refinery, and worked there in various positions. Being selected by Public Enterprise Selection Board, PESB, in 1998, he became the director of production in the same refinery in, and retired in the same position in 2003. It may also be noted that Sri Roderick de Sira was the first in the whole northeastern region to have been selected for such high profile position by the ministry which had also been telecasted in the whole Northeast News as well as in the whole of India. In 2017, the government of Meghalaya appointed him again as the first Vice Chancellor of Captain Williamson Sangma Technical University at Jewelry, and the same post he is holding till that. Sri Ardisira had been a leader in Tura Baptist Church and also the president of ABDK for eight long years during his tenure as the president of ABDK as and when law and order problems erupted in the district. Like Garo Rapa conflict, he was also among those who assisted the district administration in restoring peace in the state. He also had conducted many programs on excellence in studies and career counseling in many schools and churches since 2004 till today, except for three years in between. He had been the president of Adangri, that is Upper Chanmari Development Committee. The District Administration of West Garo Hills Tura is pleased to honor and confer upon him this Lifetime Achievement Award 
during the 75th Republic Day celebration at Machakal Rail School near Tura on 26 January 2024 in appreciation and in recognition to his outstanding, exceptional achievements, contributions, and excellent service to the people of the state and the nation as a whole. And to do the honors, may I now request our Honorable Chief Minister, our Chief Guest for today's occasion, Sir Conrad K. Sangma, to hand away the citation, a memento, and a case award of rupees 10,000. Thank you so much, sirs. Congratulations once again, Sir Roderick D. Shira, for your tireless services to our society. We truly and humbly appreciate you for all that you have done and all that you will deliver in the days to come. Janmani Palu Tsangsatai, Sir Nankumatela Tahai Janmalak Be'e Una Zakpako Dukataina, the Lifetime Achievement Awardee recipient today. Closing this year's cultural program are the Wangala dancers of Dokaku Cultural Club. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy their power performance.
Thank you, the Kaku Cultural Club. Wangala, Wangala, oh, with the Andak Bibiaha, with that colorful attire and the Grikapa Matrik Lakan Nambiaha. Thank you, all our participants, for today's cultural program. It was an absolute delight watching you all perform for us today on a day like today. Cultural program, oh, Bakragapa Sakantikon, Sang Satai Matela. Jol Jol Anton Result Rangona Ribana. Without further ado, let us now move on with our results of our various competitions today. We begin with the tableau presentation. May I please invite our Deputy Commissioner, Wes Garuhu, Sir Jagdish Chelani, IAS, to hand over the certificates and cash prizes to our deserving winners in the tableau presentation. In the third place, we have a very prominent office now, the District Election Office Tura, the third prize in the Tableau presentation. Paco Rakke Dukatna, Yam District Election Office Turani, Tableau Presentation of the Tamungapa Biapoche, Dao DC Sarni Japniko, Certificate Arrow Cash Prizes Rangkura, Takanginya. And in the second place, we have a very deserving uh, department tour. All of them are from Tura, but uh, they are known as DCIC, I believe. The District Commerce and Industry Center Tura. For all your hard work, you are being recognized today in the tableau presentation, bagging the second position. Kindly receive your certificates and awards from our Deputy Commissioner, sir. Gani Pao, District Commerce and Industry Center, Tura. Congratulations, DCIC Tura. And in the first place, we have a demonstration that has been doing rounds all over Tura. Can you please guess me? Saganigatam. <laughs> okay. There goes Madam Rakse Marak. The winners of today's tableau presentation, the Tura Municipal Board Tura people. Thank you, sir, and congratulations to the Tura Municipal Board, DCIC, and the District Election Office. And we move on to our marching contingents. May I please request everyone to please hear me out properly and run as fast as you can as I announce your names. Ang nina si mangi binunang ko kamatugong rakere batok paboni. And may I request our honourable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly hand over the trophies and certificates to our winners in the marching contingents category today. In the fourth place, or rather we should say, the best NCC boys of 2024 is 
Don Bosco College Boys, led by Mr. Alfredo C.H. Mala. NCC Boys, Hadalgani Kulgrik Brini, Nambat Kapa Yamangan Watam, Aru Yamang Kutel Kapat, Hambugong and Watam, Hai Wamang Nalak Bay, Zakapo Kapna, Mr. Alfredo C.H. Malak, the best NCC Boys 2024. Congratulations, Don Bosco College boys. Dawamang trophy ko sir ni Jaconi ko atakina. Thank you, sir. And we move on to the best NCC girls 2024. So, pa guess katkin ma? College guess sa ni noa. Aruwa Mangkode M Sangma Saksasa Dalskanga. The Tura Government College NCC Girls led by Ms. Varsimi M Sangma. The best NCC Girls 2024. Dasio Agan Gamangata Tara Kaleri by Nasimangi Trofiko Sarni Zakoniko Rangpabo. They are coming with pride and honor to receive their recognition as the best NCC girls 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, Tura Government College NCC girls, led by Ms. Varsimi M. Sangma. Congratulations, TGC and CC girls. We will now be handing over the trophies for the best marching contingent 2024 Boy Scouts. And they are none other than the Combined Scouts contingent led by, I am proud to say his name, Mr. Nagdagran C.H. Mara. Boy Scout category or best marching contingent, Hazalgani Kolgurk Bri, O Chegaparang Dao Wamangi Trofiko, Antingni Chief Gesni Zakonikora Takna Singa, Wamang Combined Scouts contingent, Nakdagran CH Marakni, Ridalingapa, Boy Scouts Rang, Ya Trofiko Dao Ratakangen. Congratulations, the Combined Scouts contingent. And finally, we have the best marching contingent 2024 guides. 
They are the combined guides contingent led by Ms. Gumi Christine K. Selma. The best marching contingent 2024 goes to the combined guides contingent led by Ms. Yumi Christine K. Sangma. Congratulations, ladies. The combined guides contingent, Miss Yumi Christine K. Sangma and company. Congratulations to all the winners of today's marching contingents category. And sir, may I please request you for some more of your time to give away the prizes for the winners in the cultural program. In the third place, we have the Wangala Dancers, Dokaku Cultural Club, Kasapai Rebae Nasimangni, Certificate Rangko Ratake Papo. Angat Sanchia Gerak Kepa Matkerkan Rebao Namgenkon, so ladies and gentlemen, the third place winners in today's cultural program, the Okaku Cultural Club. And they will be receiving a certificate and cash prize from our Honorable Chief Minister, sir. In the second place, we have, my nephew is in the company, I guess. So congratulations, Captain William Skultura. So here are the students of Captain William School Tura, the second place winners in today's cultural program. Congratulations, the entire school, the teaching faculty of Captain William Skultura. What an absolute and pure joy seeing these kids here receive their prizes today from our Honorable Chief Minister, sir. Congratulations once again. As the second place winners make their way from here, from the arena, I would like to announce the winners of today's cultural program. They were here with a performance that touched us to the core. May I please request 
the teacher who led them all, the teacher and students of Tura Public School, Tura. Please come and collect your certificates and cash prize for winning today's cultural program. The students are here with the music teacher. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for Tura Public School for winning today's cultural program competition. So congratulations to all our winners in the cultural program competition. May you continue to shine as ever. Thank you, our Honorable Chief Minister, sir, for doing the honors. We have one more event that is uh, waiting to be flagged off from this venue. The Tura Motorsports Club, TMSC, a prominent name in the adventure sports scene is gearing up for the much anticipated Bulgaro Republic Day Run 2024, known for its commitment to promoting motorsports and fostering a spirit of competition. TMSC has been a driving force in organizing thrilling events that attract participants from diverse backgrounds. The Bulgaro Republic Day Run 2024 promises to be a captivating experience, bringing together motorsports enthusiasts to celebrate the spirit of the Republic with a focus on road safety awareness and fostering a sense of camaraderie TMSC aims to make this edition a memorable and impactful event. As the countdown begins, participants can expect a well-organized and exhilarating run that aligns with TMSC's dedication to promoting responsible and enjoyable motorsport activities. Our Honorable Chief Minister Sir Conrad K. Sangma will now flag off the vehicles for the Republic Day Run 2024.
Lakon biap thang thang o dong pak china mola tinga. Takat thang kua chi madam rang. Ancing ni program cultural program yang non bonah, sepak bola pelakon metela. Mana kini ni bah ancing ni report dikte mania ni bonang kujawa ya salo deng tang deng tang event rang deng tang kugen. Ancing dah out cikgu ni atau o bisa rang ni sports ya filon orang gen. Aduh mana kini deng baju o exhibition football match yang P A sama Steve Mungen. Ya exhibition football match ada DC 11 women's team atau medical 11 women's team rang kalangan. Anak tang ni maga pa abit tang no no gupa rang na cak na atau mahari tang na hai dah nak sungi macet do rang na ba nak sung bahasa nama kalangan ni na ibat opo support kat dah ibat opo pelakon betela.